Yeah, it is a really intimate thing to understand how your body gives you away. Yeah. Because Mm -hmm. like you were saying, like, I think men and women, a lot of the times we're super disassociated from our body. We're so much in the mind, so disconnected from the heart, so disconnected Mm -hmm. from the body that like, we don't even know what it means when we sweat or when we're blinking a lot Mm -hmm. or when we're, you know. Or why, why we can't stop fiddling. Yeah, why we can't stop fiddling. You know, a lot of those things were just like, oh, I'm just being weird. I'm just being a weirdo. We need to stop being a weirdo. And it's like, no, no, no. There's parts of you trying to communicate in a way. And this is your body's response to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, yeah, I think it is, especially for feminine creatures, like it is part of your femininity to express through the body because that's like being open to the universe. Yeah, and that's really fucking crazy terrifying. Way. Yeah, so fucking scary for my parts, and I'm envious of the women, the feminine creatures that are able to like be so embodied with their emotions, with their, with the words that they use. You know, it's like, man, especially being a three, like I can just get so caught up in, it's like so unconscious of like how I need to perform. That even like how my body reacts is a performance of who I think I'm supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And if I was told that I'm not supposed to be somebody who feels how I'm feeling, like I don't embody that with my body. Mm -hmm. Like I don't express that with my body. And so like, I think that's why you're like, wow, you've been overwhelmed. Like I haven't really noticed that it's because I get, I make sense. Like, and as I look back, it's like, yeah, I just keep all that shit in. Like I don't actually express that with my body that's kind of been the story of my life of feeling so much inside and then people being like, what? Like you were struggling. Like I had no idea. Anyway, I wanted to tell a story of that happened just yesterday. Great story time. Yeah. Because it's something that I'm working on is I've noticed when I want something or when I ask for something, I'll get really small and like childlike kind of, and like adorable. Uh, And that's how my feminine parts have learned to like get our needs met or like mm -hmm. request our needs. But that's also not, it's adorable, but it's not like sexy. It's not like queen Jordan. Mm -hmm. And so I've been trying to notice like when I'm, when I'm acting like a child or when I'm speaking like a child or when I'm, yeah, like moving my body like a child so like Mm -hmm. I had water over there yesterday and when I wanted it I I just went like this like "Mm." (laughs) you know like I didn't even use words Uh and I was like oh wow that's like I did it like that's like a baby that's like what I did Mm is like I wanted something and so I just acted like a baby until I got it or a child did I did I get it to you yeah yeah you gave it to me I was like what are you doing (laughs) no no you gave it to me like you you respond really well like People respond really well when I'm adorable. Like, that's the thing. That is a very natural thing that uh, people pick up on. Yeah. I I think I do a lot of that, too, when I'm. Yeah, we both do it. In a childlike state of being silly or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm not making it wrong. I'm just like wanting to expand the way that I can communicate. And so then I noticed that. And so I was like, okay, like, how would I try to do this differently? Like more of like queen you know, Jordan, how, what would the queen version of me do? And so then I leaned like really close to you. And I was like, Hey baby, can you put this back over there for me? And you did. And you gave me a kiss on the, on the forehead. I was That's like, right. mm, okay. Like, and I, I wasn't even paying attention. No, to you uh-huh. were totally. You were using your nonverbal communication. To yeah. Like really influence me. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, whatever (laughs) yeah 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 (laughs) yeah so it was like shit like that that's kind of interesting like that's kind of the edge that I'm on in terms of like nonverbal communication is like how can I communicate with my body more consciously Mm -hmm. yeah wow great story Jordan yeah that's that's my story